Want to learn how to make the most coin in Medieval Dynasty? Then look no further. There's a lot of ways to make coin in Medieval Dynasty, but we are going to look over the best ways to make a profit, with many of these tips working hand in hand. Here are 10 advanced tactics to make money in Medieval Dynasty. Starting with number 1, selling flax seeds. Flax seeds sell for only 5 coin a seed, but you can gather many seeds every summer depending on the size of your fields. Initially, you are going to need to buy your seeds first, plant them in spring, harvest the flax in summer, then thresh your flax in a barn, providing flax stalks and flax seeds. Number 2 is animal breeding. Once you've unlocked most animals, you can begin to breed juveniles so long as you have one male and one female. The more males you have, the higher chance your females have to breed each season. I recommend not selling geese, pigs, or sheep unless they are close to old age, but goats, cows, horses, and donkey juveniles can be sold for good money. Goats sell for 500 coin, cows sell for 750 coin, donkeys sell for 875 coin, and horses sell for 1750. Number 3 is Quark. Once you have goats and cows, you can start producing milk, assuming you have buckets. If you have any spoiled milk, you can take it to the kitchens and make quark, selling for 50 coins each quark. I don't use milk often, so I usually let it spoil and sell the quark off. Number 4 is dried meat. Similarly, once you have a hunting lodge and are making too much meat to handle, start converting it into dried meat selling for 4 coins each, over double the price of raw meat. Even with making food like pottage, you will likely farm meat faster than vegetables, depending on your field size, of course. So you can find alternative ways to make extra money from the raw meat, and dried meat is the way. Number 5 is feathers. But wait, isn't feathers something beginners sell? Yes. However, once you have geese, you can farm copious amounts of feathers. I'm talking 600 plus a season. Feathers mainly sell for 1.5 coins each, but that's still around a 1200 coin profit each season without lifting a finger. And since they're so light, it's easy to take them into town and sell. Number five and a half, the king's tax. This isn't a money making tip of course, but the king has requested you drop one like or one sub for the free tips. Thank you for your generous tribute. Number six is mead and wheat beer. Drinks can't be made until you've built a tavern, but creating wheat beer costing six wheat grain, one beer bottle, one water bucket, and 10 hops will sell for 130 coins, making you over 45 coins in profit. Similarly with mead costing a mead bottle, 12 honey, which requires an apiary, and one water bucket sell for 140 coins, making over 40 coins in profit. Number seven is clothing. I hope you've saved your flax stocks for this one. Making clothing is gonna require a combination of a few resources that you should have if you've been following these tactics. The clothing I recommend you make are flat straw hats, felt hats, or noble shoes. Quilted vests make the most profit, but have a longer processing time. So if you're not too worried about time or weight, go for the quilted vests. Else, I like to make straw hats costing linen fabric since I usually have a surplus of straw from the excavation hut. Let me know what's your favorite clothing to make in the comments, because there are a lot of options you could go for. Number eight are your market stalls. The market stall is a service building where a villager can be assigned as a stall holder and is unlocked at 2500 production tech points. The market stalls generate over 100 gold per day per skill level, regardless of what products are sold. The number of goods sold depends on the value of the sold good, so I usually like to sell my high price items like tools, iron cudgels, or food like scrambled eggs and pottage. Usually anything I have in surplus is often what I prefer to sell at the market stalls, and I will take the low price, low weight items into town to sell. But whatever works best for you is fine to sell, as markets can only make a fixed amount of coins per day depending on the season length. Number 9 is the barter feat. I mentioned this briefly in one of my previous videos, but this diplomacy feat just gives you an additional 30% coins when selling goods. So at this point in your journey, this feat is a must. And last at number 10 is the resource storage. This one doesn't make you any money necessarily, but can save you a lot of time which will result in faster money. Build extra resource storage buildings near bigger cities like Gestovia, Hornica, and Lesnica. All of your resource storages will increase your max storage capacity and share storage. So if you need to go on big selling runs, you can simply place your items in your town storage, go to your storage facility near one of the large towns, grab what you need, and sell everything to the vendors in town without having to worry about limited carry space. If you want some extra tips, check out my latest video where I go over the best tips for new and returning players. And if you want to see some tips regarding farming or animals, 
be sure to check out my tutorial playlist for more medieval dynasty guides. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.